Hey church, so excited to be with you today. I hope you're loving these devotionals, getting the word of God in you each day. Today I want to share from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 6. It says, but when you pray, go into your room, shut the door and pray to the Father who hears you in that secret place. Your Father who sees what you do in secret will then reward you. You know, what I love about this is it's painting a beautiful picture of what to do when you're facing challenges or even good things in your life. Church, what is your response when you're needing a breakthrough, maybe in the area of healing, or maybe you're needing a financial breakthrough in this season, or maybe it's relational? The question I got for you is, what is your response? Who do you run to and where do you turn to? Is it your first response to pick up the phone and call a friend or talk to a parent? And although these things are great and these relationships are a blessing, God is giving us an invitation here to come into your room, to get away with him and in his presence in that secret place and talk to the father who hears you. There's another scripture I love, and it's in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. It says, then casting all your cares, all your anxieties, your worries and your concerns once and for all onto him, for he cares about you. And this part's beautiful. It says, with deepest affection, he watches over you very carefully. You see, this paints another picture of who is this father that we're praying to. When you run into that secret place, into your room and you start to pray and talk to God, he's not a far off ruler or a king with deaf ears. No, he is a father. He cares about you and he calls himself the burden bearer. So when you're going through something, you're needing a breakthrough, would you go into that secret place and cast your burdens upon him? Cast your burdens upon the father because he cares about you. He wants to lift that weight of anxiety off you today. He wants to lift that burden of sickness off you because when you come and meet with him, commune with him face to face, you start walking differently. You walk in victory. You walk with strength and courage because you know your father is the one who's got your back. I love to pray for you. Father, today we declare is a day of victory. We thank you that today, God, there's an invitation for us to come away into the secret place with you. So I pray, Father, that everyone that's watching would feel that that calling and that drawing of your presence. And in that place, God, I declare we'd find a new level of joy, a new level of freedom and victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining us today.